Oh boy, time for another mystery guest. We will ask right. him or her questions to try and figure out who we're talking to. We are notoriously terrible at this game, so I hope the mystery guest is not offended. Uh, the mystery guest is joining us via Zoom. Good okay. morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Okay. Oh. Who's got the first question? Uh, are you at work now? No. All right. Huh. Are, would we know you from television? Yes. Oh. You have uh, wavy hair. <laughs> Sometimes. All right. Oh. Does your show feature a laugh track? No. Oh. I hope not. Oh. <laughs> Are you from Chicago? No. Hmm. Is your show currently on network TV? I do have a show that is on a network, but not oh. like one of the major ones. All right, that's I'm all the right. host of a show. I'm going to give you more than you do. <laughs> no, no, because this is this is hard. I wouldn't be good at this either. This is Nikki Glaser. I wouldn't be good at this either. So I'm yeah. I, I host a show that's on a listening. network, but right. that's Nikki not Glazer. what people generally know Still me from. Listening. Have you ever been to Sephora? <laughs> oh, you know it. I've been going so since I was 12. Oh, I'm going to say it for the third time. Nikki Glaser. Yes. Yay! Yay! Wow. Oh. Hi. I'm trying to get the camera. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Wait, where am I? Okay, yeah, there, there we go. go. There you go. There you go. What is this yeah. nondescript room you're in? It's um. This is my podcast studio, so it's kind oh. of hard to not say that it's my work, but yeah. you wouldn't know that. No, comfy ah, chair. You look really look comfortable. You. Good for Thank you. Thank you. I just woke up. Yeah. It's good to be here. <laughs> How'd you sleep? It was so good. Isn't I was. That nice? uh, it was a little stressful the last hour because I was like, I have to be a mystery guest, and I was yeah. kind of waking yes. up every five minutes, making sure it was not time yeah. for me to get up. It's a little unusual. Yeah. Where are you right but now? But yeah, I just, you my bedroom's right in the next room. I just jumped on this thing. This is oh, easy I'm peasy. And then I didn't. And, and I was like, maybe I don't have to put on makeup if they never guess me. <laughs> 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 but I had high hopes for you guys, so I threw on a wing uh, eyeliner. Thank you. Um, yes, but I'm here to promote. I have. Um, I'm doing a stand-up tour, and my tour is coming to Waukegan, Illinois, April 23rd. Oh. And um, I'm also going to be in Gary, Indiana, uh, which is not too far from you guys, um, on Friday night. This Friday, so um, April 23rd in Waukegan, and then um, this Friday in Gary. Nice. Fantastic. Mm. And what what's the TV show you were talking about? Because we're we're talking over you. Oh, that's okay. Um, uh, it is. Uh, it's on the CW, and it is called uh, Lovers and Liars. It's. Um, I host a show called F Boy Island, oh, and oh, it is yeah. a spinoff of <laughs> F Boy Island. Right. It's pretty much F Girl Island, but uh -huh. well, that's what we thought it was when we filmed it, and so I say that a lot in the show. But then. Um, People just determined that they couldn't get advertisers to give any ads for a show called F Girl Island, oh. and no one even knows what that is yeah. because F Boy Island wasn't um, didn't not enough people watched it on the CW. It was very popular when it was on the HBO. It's still the same show. People just don't know where to find it. Uh. But it is a new season of a show where um, it's, it starts April 11th on the CW. And it's uh, three guys looking for love and a bunch of girls. And half of the girls are there for love and half of the girls are there uh, to just trick the guys and make them think they're falling in love with them oh. and then take their money from them. So it is an amazing show. I've already shot it, so I know how good it is. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I know how it ends. It's an incredible um, season of reality TV as a reality TV fan myself. So if anyone well, out there good. loves mm. good reality TV, mm -hmm. um, uh, Lovers and Liars. Lovers and Liars, um, CW, April 11th. Wow. I love it. What yeah. do you learn about lovers after doing a show like this? What did I learn? Um, well, I learned that, well, if you are looking for love, let's be honest, you're not going to go on a reality show. Right. So these yeah. people, although they are, let's just dispel the... the the thing that said at every reality show of like these people are looking for love that's yeah. why they're here they're no not. it's not they're looking for fame. they'd be on bumble they'd yeah. be at a bar down the street these people are looking for fame so that is the number one thing but that doesn't mean they don't actually fall in love right. which is um something that i did not expect uh with a reality show where you know, I've watched these shows and I've been really cynical about them. Like, are these people just acting? Yeah. Uh, let me just tell you, there's we can't have this good of actors out. There's no, wow. these people would be winning Oscars. They're not <laughs> <Yeah>. acting. They <laughs> really are falling in love because if I put you on an island 
and I only let you talk to a bunch of hot guys or whatever, or yeah. hot girls, and then you don't talk to your family or friends, you don't have a phone, you don't have a job, right. you don't have a dog, you're staying in a hotel, <laughs> and every conversation you have is either with a hot person that you're, yeah. you're supposed to be falling in love with in a romantic right setting, <laughs> or people are, or producers are talking to you about the people that you're falling in love with. You can't escape it, so no. you will fall in love, and it's... It, it it is a um, manipulative process because you have to for TV to get these yeah. people to to have a dramatic um, you know <laughs> yeah. love life. Yeah. yeah. But it really is what we all experience when we're going through um, a romantic relationship. It's just sped up, and all of the the crud in your life that usually you know makes it take longer is just taken out. So it just expedites wow. it. Well, it just turns up the track. Mm, you sweet. you seem to have a lot of insight. Are, are you in love yeah. right now? Is that an engagement um, no. ring? <laughs> no, I've been with the same person for 10 years, so absolutely yeah. not. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm in, I'm in deep, committed love. But that oh. is not the that's not the kind of love we br we breed on Lovers and Liars. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. Ours, ours burns bright and burns out by December. Does that even feel dirty to you as you're sitting there watching it? You're like, oh, this is a little, little much. Yeah, I mean, I, I struggled with Love is Blind this season because I was just, first of all, I just don't care about 20-somethings acting like they're going to be in relationships forever. I really, I don't even go to weddings of people in their 20s. I don't support it. I don't think yeah. you know what you're doing. I think that if you stay in it, it's probably just really lucky that you found someone good enough at that age or you just kind of gave up. And I'm sorry if I'm, uh, if anyone watching no, is like, right, no, right, like yeah. husband. you're the exception I'm talking about. Some no. people yeah. do. But I think people in their 20s, especially people on TV, they're not really looking for love. They're not ready. Um, and it makes that's why I like our show, because our show is not about getting engaged. It's not about getting married and making these people commit to each other forever. And if they don't, uh, then there's some kind of failure. Our show mm -hmm. is about like, do you want a boyfriend? Do you want to leave this island with like maybe someone you could potentially have a relationship with? Like that's that's what we're trying to make on the show and that doesn't mean that people don't fall in love they do <laughs> but we're just not trying to push them towards engagement at, at, at a You're speed right. that is just not safe and unhealthy changing I think. lives nikki yeah keep up thank the good you work. i mean yeah, truly good girl lovers and liars <laughs> and then my uh my stand-up show yeah, yeah. this uh, uh march oh sorry march 22nd Yes, that's this Friday in Gary, Indiana, and then April 23rd in Waukegan. Tickets available at NikkiGlazer.com. It is a show that you can go to by yourself. I won't make fun of you. Oh. I'm not going to like call you out. It's not like a show I'm going to roast you. I know I'm famous right. for roasts and stuff. If you are a fan of comedy and you've never been to a comedy show, mine's the perfect one to go to. You will be safe. You will be. You will have fun. You can just laugh in the dark, and it's such a good time, and I oh. can't wait to see people there. Thanks, right. Nikki. Thank you, guys. <laughs>